Welcome to Stock Market Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Traders wrong footed by dollar's best start to year since 2011. Japan insurer Meiji Yasuda to invest $4 billion in private assets. Fed revives investors' hopes of end to quantitative tightening. Strategist talks defensive playbook for Fed rate cuts. How major US stock indexes fared Friday, 1 5 2024. Traders wrong footed by dollar's best start to year since 2011. Bloomberg. Traders who bet on a weaker US dollar are likely regretting their decision as the greenback has recorded its best start to the year since 2011. Non commercial traders increased their short positions on the dollar in the week ending January 7, with around $10 billion now tied to the belief the US currency will fall. However, the Bloomberg Dollar Spot Index has risen by 0.9% since the start of the year. Japan insurer Meiji Yasuda to invest $4 billion in private assets. Nikkei Asia. Meiji Yasuda Life Insurance, one of Japan's largest insurers, plans to invest 600 billion yen, $4.2 billion, in domestic and overseas private assets over the next three years in a bid to raise returns. The insurer intends to diversify its assets under management by investing in private equity and private debt, moving away from traditional investments in government bonds and stocks. Meiji Yasuda will use asset management startups to help expand its investments in new asset classes and will select partners based on their track record and alignment with its objectives. The insurer also plans to invest 800 billion yen in environmental, social and corporate governance-related businesses over the next three years. Fed revives investors' hopes of end to quantitative tightening. Financial Times The Federal Reserve's decision to review its policy of shrinking its balance sheet, known as quantitative tightening, QT, has boosted investor hopes for U.S. Treasuries. A pivot from the Fed, which is considering cutting rates, could bolster Treasury prices and reduce volatility in the market. The central bank has been the largest buyer of U.S. government debt in recent years. Ending QT would also reduce the amount of debt Treasury needs to issue to private investors this year. Strategist Talks Defensive Playbook for Fed Rate Cuts Yahoo! Investors should remain fully invested but adopt a slightly defensive playbook in managing their portfolios during times of uncertainty, according to PNC Asset Management Chief Investment Strategist Mark Dizzard. Dizzard recommends diversified portfolios and cautions against holding excessive amounts of cash. He also highlights the importance of considering the timing of the Federal Reserve's interest rate decision, as well as the decision itself, given the uncertainty surrounding inflation, labor, the U.S. consumer, and the reasons behind potential rate cuts. How major U.S. stock indexes fared Friday, 1 5 2024. Associated Press. Wall Street closed higher but still experienced its first losing week in the last 10. The market showed lackluster trading following reports that workers are receiving higher wages but key parts of the economy are not overheating. Treasury yields initially rose after a report showed stronger job market performance, raising concerns about the Federal Reserve keeping interest rates high. However, another report showed a slowdown in growth for services businesses, leading traders to rebuild bets for the first rate cut to come in March. On topic, Japan's New Year rocked by earthquake and plane crash. Nikkei Asia. Japan was hit by a deadly earthquake and a plane crash this week. The magnitude 7.6 quake forced mass evacuations and caused fires that destroyed buildings and infrastructure. The earthquake also triggered a tsunami and raised concerns about the risk of further earthquakes. The plane crash occurred at Tokyo's Haneda Airport and killed five of the six crew members aboard a Japan Coast Guard aircraft. The collision with a Japan Airlines plane resulted in injuries to passengers on the plane. The U.S. has offered to work with Japan's self-defense forces for relief efforts. No winners, mascot tower owner-occupiers offered possible sale of apartments to cancel debt. ABC. Owner-occupiers of the defect-ridden mascot towers in Sydney have been offered a potential settlement by the New South Wales Building Commissioner. The settlement would allow owners to cancel their outstanding strata debts and mortgages and sell their apartments to a third-party consortium. However, 75% of owners must agree to the proposal for it to proceed. The consortium would then repair the structural issues and resell the units. The option is only available to eligible owner-occupiers, not investors. Owners will vote on the proposal in February. Top stock pickers seek gains in China Energy, Japan Real Estate. Bloomberg. Top performing fund managers in Asia are looking to invest in Chinese stocks and are becoming more selective in the artificial intelligence, AI, sector. The MSCI Asia Pacific Index underperformed global peers in 2023, but expectations are growing for Chinese equities to bottom out and the global backdrop is becoming more favorable. 
Bao Wuka, a fund manager at Invesco Great Wall Fund Management, is positive on China's energy firms and medical equipment makers. Meanwhile, the Allianz Global Investors Taiwan Technology Fund is turning more selective on chip-related stocks and the Arcus Japan Fund is holding an overweight stance for real estate and chemical stocks. Yen seesaws as investors weigh Fed outlook after U.S. jobs data. Nikkei Asia. The yen dropped against the dollar following a strong U.S. jobs report, before regaining ground on a service industry survey that suggested the U.S. economy was cooling off. Initially, the yen weakened to a three-week low of over 145.8 yen to the dollar after the release of the U.S. jobs data, which undermined the case for a Federal Reserve rate cut in March. However, the yen then strengthened following the release of an unexpectedly poor services sector report, bringing it back below 144 to the dollar. Global market stocks, bond prices ease in seesaw session as investors mull soft landing. Yahoo! Bond prices and global equity performance have eased after a positive U.S. employment report led to reduced odds that the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates in March. However, a weak report from the Institute for Supply Management showed service sector employment dropped to 43.3 in December, to the lowest level since July 2020, leading to increased rate cut expectation. Bobby Jane slashes fees to draw clients before hedge fund debut. Bloomberg. Bobby Jane, former executive at Millennium Management, is offering discounted performance fees as he prepares for the largest ever hedge fund debut. Jane Global will charge new clients who commit at least $250 million this month a performance fee of just 10%, down from the already discounted 18% proposed last year. Jane Global is also offering clients an annual redemption right, allowing them to withdraw their cash after 18 months, although they will face increased fees for doing so. Jobs Report, Jolts, ADP, Takeaways from this week's reports. Yahoo! The latest economic data releases highlight the current state of the U.S. labor market. The Job Openings and Labor Turnover Survey, JOLTS, report showed that U.S. job openings fell to 8.79 million in November, the lowest level since March 2021. This suggests a slowdown in the labor market, but it aligns with the Federal Reserve's desire to see a cooling economy. The minutes from the Federal Reserve's December meeting indicated that officials believe interest rates may have reached or be near their peak, but they also left the door open to raising rates again if necessary. However, the strong jobs report for December, which showed the addition of 216,000 jobs and an unchanged unemployment rate of 3.7%, indicates that the labor market is still holding up. Overall, the data suggests a slowing labor market, but not one that is entering a recession. The Federal Reserve's dovish stance and the market's reaction to it have been seen as surprising, with some experts questioning the advantage of signaling multiple rate cuts in the coming year. Fed should lower rates as economy normalizes, Barkin says. Bloomberg. Thomas Barkin, president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond, has said that the central bank can lower interest rates as the economy returns to normal and confidence grows about the downward path of inflation. Barkin, who is a voting member of the Federal Open Market Committee this year, said that rates should be normalized as the economy gets back to normal. He added that the first three months of 2019 will provide critical inputs to his thinking on inflation and that labor market softening will be less pronounced in the event of a gradual downturn. Just how strong was Friday's jobs report? Financial Times. The U.S. job market may be showing signs of weakness despite the headline figures indicating strong job creation in December. Data from the Household Survey revealed a decline in the number of employed people, although this was offset by a decline in the size of the civilian labor force. The three-month pace of job creation has also declined, and there has been a drop in prime-age employment and full-time employment. Despite signs of labor market cooling, analysts are divided on whether the Federal Reserve should maintain tight monetary conditions. Hello, viewers. It's me, Dr. Six, your resident observer from the six-dimensional world. I'm here to bring you a light-hearted and humorous summary of today's news. Let's start with the traders who bet against the US dollar. Turns out, they might be regretting their decision as the greenback has had its best start to the year since 2011. Looks like the dollar is here to stay. In Japan, Meiji Yasuda Life Insurance is planning to invest a whopping $4.2 billion in private assets over the next three years. They're moving away from traditional investments and diversifying into private equity and debt. Smart move, Meiji Yasuda. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve is considering cutting rates and reviewing its policy of shrinking its balance sheet, known as quantitative tightening. This has boosted investor hopes for U.S. Treasuries. So, keep an eye on those rates, folks. PNC Asset Management Chief Investment Strategist, Mark Dizzard, 
recommends a slightly defensive playbook for managing portfolios during times of uncertainty. Diversified portfolios and cautious decisions are key. So, don't go all in on cash, folks. In other news, Japan was hit by an earthquake and a plane crash this week. Not a great start to the year for them. The US has offered to lend a helping hand. Let's hope things get better for our friends in Japan. Back in Australia, the owners of the defect-ridden mascot towers in Sydney have been offered a potential settlement. They can cancel their debts and mortgages and sell their apartments to a third-party consortium. Hopefully, this will bring some relief to those affected. Moving on to the stock market, top-performing fund managers in Asia are looking to invest in Chinese stocks and becoming more selective in the AI sector. Looks like they're finding some opportunities in the market. Good luck, fund managers. Unfortunately, US stocks ended their longest consecutive weekly run in the green since 2004. It seems the market took a hit after a strong labor market report. Don't worry, though, there's always another winning streak around the corner. Let's talk about the yen. It dropped against the dollar after a strong US jobs report but regained ground after a weak services sector report. Looks like the yen is playing a game of seesaw. Hang in there, yen. Bond prices and global equity performance have eased after a positive US employment report. This has led to reduced odds of a Federal Reserve rate cut in March. But wait, a weak report from the Institute for Supply Management showed a drop in service sector employment. Will there be a rate cut after all? The seesaw continues. Bobby Jane, former executive at Millennium Management, is offering discounted performance fees as he prepares for the largest ever hedge fund debut. Talk about a deal. It seems Bobby Jane is pulling out all the stops to attract clients. Speaking of jobs, the latest economic data releases show mixed signals about the U.S. labor market. Job openings fell to a low level, aligning with the Federal Reserve's desire for a cooling economy. However, the strong jobs report for December indicates that the labor market is still holding up. Will the Fed cut rates or not? Experts are divided. Finally, Thomas Barkin, president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond, believes the central bank can lower interest rates as the economy returns to normal. Confidence is growing about the downward path of inflation. Let's hope the economy keeps on trucking. That's all for today's news, folks. Remember, stay informed, stay entertained, and keep those questions and thoughts coming. What are your ideas on the US dollar's strong start? Let's hear it. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.